don't hit it again without telling. Quick again. Welcome guys to another glorious day here on Paul Pang Farm, Thailand. It's a chilly 22 degrees today. Lovely. Just the sort of temperature we like for doing repair work. That's right. The goat fence is down yet again and we can't blame the herd. They've been as good as gold. Uh, but what we can blame is uh, a truck driver or a combine harvester operator. Uh, on the right here, we've got uh, cassava grain. It's not ours. We, we just let Toon's mum do what she wants with this 10 rye. Uh, we, we let them um, keep a temporary road going through the middle of our farm here. Uh, and then we've got our boundary with a long line of eucalyptus and we've got our goat fence nailed to that. So we've got the proper fence here uh, and then we've got a line of barbed wire running along the top. Not so long ago, we had someone um, that doesn't normally see eye to eye with Toon, or, or is it the other way around, um, asking if they could use this road uh, just to get the rice machine into their farm. And Toon, to my surprise, agreed to it. He didn't get any money for letting them do it. Uh, not even a bottle of beer or anything, but uh, yeah, whatever. Thought she's doing the right thing. And uh, a day later, uh, we were sat around uh, the house having our coffee and um, about 10 of our goats came round to the front gate. So we had a quick drive round here and we've assessed the, the damage and it just looks like he's wiped out the, the corner of the fence. Obviously it's quite a big impact and this is the second, no third time this has happened. Uh, it's normally on the, the far side um, where the government have just uh, resurfaced the road for sort of and uh, yeah and this is the third time no one's even said anything to us. We've let the goats out. Um, we don't check our boundary every single time we let the goats out. I suppose we should do now. And um, yeah, so the, the 10 goats, or 10 odd goats that came back were all fat as pigs. They've obviously been eating all this lot. And probably a load of people's corn and cassava as well. Prefer it if they don't eat cassava, as it's uh, fresh cassava's got cyanide in, so a bit of an issue. Because Toon and I are never busy, we're more than happy to come out here and uh, lose two or three hours of our life uh, repairing other people's carelessnessness. Right, let's crack on then. People idiot. People idiot. Mm. Look at that face. We're just putting the finishing touches to the repair. Soon's putting like a spacer in here just to hold the uh, barbed wire above the, the top of the fencing. So we thought we're just about done. Bebo's gotten all excited to go back and finish her bone off back at the house. And uh, a couple of things we've discovered. Uh, one load of uh, soil been pushed up against the fence so people if they wish to can just jump straight over. So that's nice. Uh, quite a deep gully here. Looks like someone's been scraping and uh, makes sense because someone has scraped the bottom of our fence away here so we thought we just had one repair to do now we've actually got broken broken fence so goats can get through it one goat goes through here would all 60 odd 70 odd would be going through here isn't it marvelous eh brilliant Second repair, just about done and dusted. Tunes worked their magic. All repaired at the bottom there. And uh, just about ready to head back, but there's a there's a bit on the far end corner right down there. It's a little bit loose, although the goats aren't gonna be in there today. This is gonna be their first day for, for two weeks in here. Um, we might as well get it fixed while we're, while we're out here. We've got the hammer and nails and a few bits and bobs, so We'll sort that out and then any other bits of fence that's um, gone a little bit loose 
or under strain from people putting cassava sticks against it. Oh, it makes you see, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll tart it up a little bit as we go and uh, get back to the house and have a brew. Bebo's exhausted. There. All right, Bebo. We finished another time. I'm fucking sure the bill will be somewhere again. We need to check dry around, but we need to fix that bit first. Right, bye. So any of you who are considering livestock farming here in Thailand, we can highly recommend it. It's a great laugh and uh, oh, the fun just is, it's never ending. <laughs>